Hi, and welcome back to a very spooky Finders Beepers History Seekers. Now, last week, we didn't manage to make a video because he was poorly and I'd had kidney stones, so we were a bit of a mess. But this yeah, week- Completely mess of your pants. Yeah, <laughs> literally. We don't want to know about the explosion that's happened in your pants multiple, multiple times. times. But yeah, this week, we're at a, a location that we probably wouldn't normally do because I don't think it's absolutely rammed with stuff, but the history of this place is one, mega spooky. Two, goes back to at least the 12th century with what's in the what's cellar. In the cellar yeah. But the building itself now is still the 17th century, so 1690 something, 1998 yeah. or something like that. So it's got some real history, but it's also got lots of sightings of ghosts. Lots and lots, not just a couple here and there. Loads. And there's loads. There's a little old w woman that sits or walks around the house. Walks in the garden. Some that lifts a latch. Somebody that throws things across the old floor. Old guy that sits in front of a fire. Yeah. Um, and then there's Roman stuff in the cellar as well. So we'll see how it goes. Got me on edge already. You know what? Oh. Oh, we're, near, we're near, near an airport, as you can hear as well. So there's plenty of planes flying about. But you know what? This place excites me. Not, like I said, because it's probably not going to have all your amazing ceilings and fireplaces and things like that. But it's it's just that. It's put me on edge before yeah. you get started. And you're, you're, we have said so many times before, you are not particularly a believer in ghosts. No. But we always have certain places where we feel weird. And this is one of those already. It Seems looks like, spooky from outside. It does. It looks like an old film, old haunted house film, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So we'll get in, we'll get out of a look and uh, see if we can find anything at all. Anything spooky. So the room we've got, can you hear the crows outside as well? I think that's just adding to it. That's just... It's like proper haunted house fodder, isn't it? <laughs> so, but yeah, we've, we've come straight into what? I don't know if, is it a kitchen? I don't think it's like a, I'd say a kitchen, but like a, more like a scullery. Like, yeah, like a utility type yeah. room. I know you wouldn't have had your dishwasher in here and stuff back in the day. <laughs> well, well, it would have been some old granny. Well, yeah. On a scrubbing board. Or, and a bucket with a one of them dolly things or whatever they call called. Dolly peg. Yeah. But yeah, you've got your little boiler in there, your 1970s clock. I, I didn't mean boiler. What is that? It's like a... Fire. Just a fire, isn't it? Just a little chimney fire. And there's been something hanging up there, some sort of picture. A big Belfast sink and mirror there. But what we know about this place is, before was before the main, I almost gave the name of the road outside then, but the, don't. before, no, I'm not gonna, before that was built, the cellar, which is down through that door there, was the level of the road. So we must have hired the road a good 10, 12 foot at least. Exactly, oh God. Is this going to be all the people that tell us about the mud flood? Telling oh, us about... Oh, God, yeah. We're not going to start that again, are Yeah. We? Go online and search... Or on YouTube and search the mud flood. And you get a load of very strange people thinking that there was some massive flood of mud at some point. But anyway, what's these things? Coffee maker. Modern coffee maker. Yeah. Potentially heard that there'd been a grow in here at some point. Had there? Yeah. Which, I don't know, it doesn't look like it from what we've seen. We've, well, we've only seen this room in here and the one we're in. Ah, oh, you know what, Andy? I didn't even look. Look at this fireplace. Look at that. Look at that mirror and... That's amazing. Did cast iron? I think it is. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't. This bit is. Oh, that's wood. That's wood, but that, that bit's is. cast iron. And that is. And the back bits. But look at that. Cleaned up. You know what? I reckon, I got, reckon that's got some real age to it, that, you know. I bet it has. It's original. I, no, I don't reckon 1600s. You think so? No, I think maybe 1700s, but not not 1600s. And look, got some old Chinese pottery up there as well. I don't know. How old? Oh, I can't really have a look. Can you just hold this torch for me? Let's have a look. Oh, I don't think it's that old. No. It's quite thin. I expected it to be a bit thicker. It's just it's just your bog standard Ming di dynasty. That's all it is. Is it? Yeah. It's not worth open. Nah, it's just... Uh, it's uh, 
Ming that owns the uh, the Chinese down the road. Ming the Merciless. Yeah, you get it free. Thanks to me then. Free with every chop suey. What's in there? Books. A pocket full of rye. Oh, there's lots of books. There's these up here as well. Oh, you'll like this one, Andy. Oh. We've got a workshop manual, four litre R, and a great summer Mercedes Benz. Oh, that's the one I thought you were. Oh, is there more? New Rover 3500. All oh, right, so they're into the cars. Oh, look at this, though. I've only just noticed. It's been ripped off the wall, hasn't it? It's a wet look. It'll be from right round here, because oh, it's... Yeah, yeah. Pile them. The colour scheme's all the way through. Why is there two lights? Odd lights as well. They're oh, awful. Nice. Look at the dust on that. That's horrendous. See you on sacking. But we just walked past a, a building that was built in 15... 1515, right? 1575. Something like that. Literally just round the corner. And this is one of only three houses in the whole country that's in this style. There's no other houses uh, in this good condition either. One of them's just a shell and the other one's probably worse than this. So, so have you heard of... Um, What's he called now? William of Orange? Yeah. As in the Orange Order? Yeah. All to do with um, Ireland, isn't yeah. it? Well, he was king when this place was built. And it's that's why it's so rare, because the style of this house came over from Holland with him. And that's why... Because if you think about the Dutch football team, they all play in Orange. They and that, that comes from that. That's where it all comes from, William of Orange. And that's where it all stems from. So this is in the Dutch style and they like to have things in like very square and oblong shapes. Because I, I don't know, you might be right. That fireplace might be original, you know. Do you know what I've just seen? What? I'm, I'm a bit worried. No, what? So you've got, you've got the old door handle. Right. And then you look at this side. Why, For... why the fuck is it wired up? Oh my God. Right, that's a booby trap, if ever I've seen one. It, it's... Right, where is he? Oh, Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, Mac Kevin McAllister. <laughs> He's in here it's somewhere. It's... Oh, my God, we are a little bit like them, aren't we, the wet bandits? Imagine grabbing that, though, and getting 30,000 volts through your hand. I don't want to go through there now. Is that, is it a cellar? Let's go down to the cellar, yeah. Yeah, because the cellar's the, the least spooky part of the building. No, I don't know. Oh, look at it down here. So this is going down to the original level of the building and the level of the road. But it's quite steep, these stairs. They are steep, aren't they? Very steep. All the original beams and all. Now, apparently somewhere down here, when they were doing excavations, they found the tops of pillars of a Roman... What was it? A Roman... Oh, there's the road. So actually, it probably comes down about five foot, doesn't it? If you think the road's there. Wow. Huh. What's that noise? It's not gas, is it? Water. Oh, is it? Oh, you freaked me out then. It full on freaked me out. Oh, yeah, it's that tap there, look. What are those? Oh, look at that. What's been going off here, Andy? Look at the little frame and the little ink. Oh, these are like original ink things, aren't they? Ink wells and. That's an old one, isn't it? Yeah, but that's what it said. It was a, a, a Roman kiln down down here. So do you think that's... Oh, look at these. Look. Look at these. And the the material, those, you know. Are they? Yeah, look at them. Got the art, aren't they? I think they're probably Victorian. They're really good. 
What a shame that they just sat down here in this damp. Oh, there's some more in here as well. Oh, I'm falling over things. Look at that, that just fell over. Pick that up. Pick that up there, Andy. Plastic. Yeah, but it's weird. It's like to display something. Oh, look, these got little birds on them. Little chaffinches. Yeah, it's this you can hear, look. So there's still running water in here. I wonder if that, turn the tap, see if it'd come on. Yeah. It's a shame that, that can't be switched off. I know, because it's just ruining it here, in here, isn't it? Yeah. That's a funny little sink. It's not really like a Belfast sink, it's too thin. Yeah, not, not deep, is it? No. Right, so what I was going to tell you before we rushed through here was this... Down here, when they did the excavations, they found a Roman kiln. So I don't know, like it doesn't, I don't know if it seems Roman or what this, but it's definitely some sort of cooking thing, isn't it? It is, isn't it? And look at the big stone archway there. And then this will have been, there will have been another wall here. Why would there be another wall? Is that to keep the heat in? It's like a gap between, isn't there? That's chimney there. Oh yeah. Chimney straight well, up. That might have been original. And then obviously they've sealed it up with this bit. Yeah, because look. Oh, fire. That's totally different there. I think it I think it could be, you know, that. How good is that if they've got a Roman kill? A the, Roman kill. Cellar. That's amazing. But the thing is, is the thing that makes me think it might not be is there is red brick in here, but I think that's been added afterwards, look. Come and look at the stones inside. They're like thin. Now, when they were building, especially sort of Tudor and things like that, they used quite small thin bricks, like, almost like those. Yeah. And this is just after sort of Tudor times. Well, St Stuart. Stuart, Tudor and Stuart, isn't it? Yeah. So, I don't know, I don't know whether it, if it is the Roman bit, but that's amazing, regardless. What are these things down here? I can't read on that label. It says... Uh, root pot. That's for growing, isn't it? Root pot, grey with handles, five gallon, pack of ten. Yeah. So that's for your grow. For your grow. What's these things here? That's the top of a table. What's yeah. this? It's a mirror. Is it? Let's have a look. They're all mirrors. Is there any special ones? Just be careful, but... You know what they say about people taking mirrors down? What do you mean? Oh, the devil. Yeah. Something to do with the devil. They don't like um, reflections, do they? No. Right, let's go back into the bit that we've not seen. I do love that, though. That There's just something special about that. When do you see anything like that in a building? Oh, oh look. This is something similar here, look, as well. See how that goes in? The wall sort of... Is it another chimney? Another chimney, yeah. But the wall sort of hooks in there, doesn't it? Yeah. Like there was something else here, another sort of fire. And then, is it... Is, is it wattle and daub? It's not wattle and daub. What is it when it's straw? It's like the straw ceiling. That's that's old. You were saying something about wattle and daub, were not you? I know. Oh, look. There's other little bits. Look at this little girl. There's a little girl there. And some cutlery. What's this here? Oh, that's just off a bit of furniture. An old porcelain doorknob. Yeah, it looks like loads of... Oh, look, Andy. Is that... Just go back round to where we were. Is that inside there? Go and check. Yeah. Is it? Can you see my torch? Oh, yeah. So this is the top of the kiln, then. And it is definitely very old, whether it is original Roman or what. Oh, look at what. Oh, a little pair of their old scissors. Look at those. Turn it back over again. Look at the design of those. They're really good. Anyway, let's head back. Shall we go back up the stairs we came down? Yeah. Right. I think the other stairs will probably take you into that other room. Well, yeah, they're not going to take you into the same room, but that would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Is there anything else in here? What are these, though? What's that off? Oh, princess. 
in oh, that Austin me, princess. Me mum, not me mum. My dad had a princess, a blue princess. Your, your dad's princess is your mum. Well, that's maybe why I said mum straight away. Why does the other one say plas? Because it's a band and pla, which could be the door for three thousand five hundred. Oh, right. What are we talking about? Oh, upstairs. the car up. The car upstairs. I'm sure we've just mentioned that a minute ago. Over 3,500 What's that? That's a jack. That's a jack? Yeah, old, an old style jack, I think. Is it? Yeah, hydraulic. Oh, and that's a, there's a pulley system in the corner. I don't know what that is behind either. What's that? That thing behind. Brake caliper. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I need that doing on mine. That's getting sorted on yeah, Thursday. Old brake caliper. Right, heading round into the next room, the one that Andy didn't like the look of, and look, this looks really fresh and new, doesn't it? It does. That's full, that. That's yeah. Like oh, there's boxes and boxes of the thing, of the stuff. Compost. Yeah. There was some compost for me planters, I <laughs> You're not taking it with you. You're definitely not stealing off drug lords. <laughs> God, I don't want them coming after me. No. What's that? Oh. An MP. <laughs> An MP? Che checking on his his dirty post and his bloody While he's sat on sites. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Sat in, um, was it the Commons? Out the Commons. Look at the old stuff that's been painted over the top of, this old panelling that's been covered. And then have you seen over the door? There, this door here. Look at that. That looks original to me. Doesn't it? 1600s. This, well. this wood panelling looks original. Imagine how... Oh, look at the fireplace. Double-sided fireplace. You know where the old man sits? Oh, I don't. The, I'm, I'm literally... I know. I feel got weird. Goose pumps. I feel really weird in here. Got the chicken. I can't see... I can't see out because you've got an hoodie on, you weirdo. <laughs> it's literally me, making me feel on edge. Is your bum all sort of, like, nipping? Yeah, but that's for different reasons. <laughs> Oh, so that's where we've just, that's the other side of it, isn't it? Yeah. The other steps up. Oh, it's weird in here. There's not very much in here, but the floor dips away there for a start. It's all that, isn't it? Yeah, but the, we know it's solid underneath. Look at that over the door as well. I have to go back in corner. Oh. Oh, it looks like it, they've had um, clothes hung up up It's a bit fucking high. Imagine getting your clothes down off that every day. No, they did you wear them older. Yeah, that's ridiculous. But yeah, look at this up here. Oh, that's beautiful, you know. If you look at it close up. That's so nice. With the little detailing up in the corners. What are all them keys? Surely there's not enough, that many doors in here. Shit, loads of little keys. Yeah. Yeah. What would you reckon this bit was for, Andy? I don't know. Just a display cabinet. Oh. Nothing behind there. No. I don't like being old fireplace, but it's not. That's weird. No, the fireplace is there. The double-sided fireplace. Which is weird as well, I think. Although, actually, it's probably a better way of heating your house rather than heating having one two, room. Having two fires. Yeah. Keeping two fires going to have one big one. Yeah. But yeah, it has got a very... Uh... Oh, look. Pressure sprayer as well for the, the grow. It's just got such an odd feeling in this place. And my stomach's like dropping. You like when you, you know when you go for a drive and you're a passenger and some you're not looking at the road and someone goes over a bump yeah. and your stomach drops. I know that very well. That's exactly how I'm feeling at the moment. I know that quite often. Yeah, I bet. Your stomach's been dropping in the toilet though, hasn't it? Where? Oh yeah. So I reckon, I reckon they've got the people that were doing the thing because they probably booted it up and then resealed screwed, it. Screwed it, look. Screwed it from inside. Yeah. Yeah, we're right in the front of the building now. And if there's been drugs grows and things like that in here, people are probably keeping an eye on this place to make sure nobody comes back. Oh, what's that, Andy? What? This. What's it saying, that front page? Ajax cast book. What is that about? What? It's all the same. What is it? Let me just read what it says. It says, this compact cast book has been designed 
by a practical angler. A fixed point fly. Oh, it's to do with fly fishing. Not to make flies, is it? Uh, one sec. Uh, finish winding the loop round the inner small disc. Uh, I, I can't bother to read it all, but that's really bizarre. Little fisherman's fly fisherman's helper. J.R. Harper. Oh, I remember that. It were an advert for BT. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening in here? I don't know. It just seems rather weird. This whole place is rather weird. Why is there just records all over? What is going on in here? Well, this is um, plastic all day. Isn't yeah, it? but why are they all displayed? They've all been put up and stuff. And I, you know, normally I'd go, oh, this is an urban explorer that's come and done this. There's actually not many people that have done this place. Not that seen I, anybody done this. No. Place. So I don't think it is. I think somebody's thought, oh, these are really good. Let's just stick them up and enjoy them. But that's really, really odd. And then what are all these books down here? Road Traffic, third edition. What year is that from? What's that one? That is sale of goods, goods and consumer pro uh, protection, sale of land, savings banks. They're all the same. Yeah. Magistrate court and community. Some are they law? Are they all law books? Yeah. yeah. Law reports. Just turn it round. Why are these in here? Law reports. Ninety two. What? Oh, God, domestic, you can read that. Domestic, just hold it, open it a little bit more. Criminal procedure, retrial, three and a half years later, weather fair. Uh, Regina versus Grafton, Regina versus... Oh, Regina is the queen, isn't it? Regina. Yeah. Not Regina. Um, so it's all different. The Domestic Violence and Matrimonial Proceedings Act, 1976. So basically, they're all... Like, you know when a law's passed and it's a new, pretty new law or they've changed it for some reason yeah. and they use a case as like a... Reference. Reference. That's what those are by the looks of things. Look at this road atlas as well. Just have a look when that's from because that looks really old. Road atlas of Great Britain. It's going to be it. Three miles to one inch. What year is it? 1952, oh, 53. 96, fifth, oh. fifth edition is 1963. So it's 1963 that's from. Do you remember? Do you remember driving round with your big map book on your knee? No. What do you mean no? Because what I used to do is, when I was going anywhere, I never used to take a road map. Right. I used to work my route out. You know, like from my house, I used to go, right, from my house, go to A1. Come off at junction, so and so on to so and so room. What if you're going to Folkestone? Exactly, that. write it out and have it stuck on my dashboard. What? That's what I used to do in oh, the no. olden days. Yeah. There's none of that That's with before, me. Before sat nav or. Well, yeah. Uh, Nobody used to take a map. Sat nav came in while I was driving. It, like, I used to have to have map books, but I remember it from my mum and dad as well. Like one of us reading going, yeah, it's definitely left down here. And then like six... What, one navigator? Yeah, six miles <laughs> later going, oh no, I, I meant the other left. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I used to write it out on like a little post-it. Yeah. That's what I used to do. That's that's probably a really good idea. Tommy Dorsey. Moon over Hawaii. Vera Lynn. They're all... Very cold, huh? It's all really strange that they're all sat out like this. And with a little fire behind as well, with the big bird's nest in it as usual. Oh, it's mad. I really like it in here. Just really weird, isn't it? They've all been laid out. Yeah, definitely. Look at this one. What's that, man? Oh, yeah, what's this? I've not noticed these. Oh, stem ginger. Little thing of stem ginger. Mustard. Is that pears? Sliced pears. God almighty. That looks like 70s to me. Prunes, maybe? Or jam. Yeah. Little Chinese... But, oh, God. Tar? <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a little Chinese box next to your kneecap? That looks like jam. Marmalade, marmalade. that's black. God. Black marmalade. Yeah, I'd look at that I thought it might be little drawers, but... Yeah, I think my sister had something similar to that in the 80s. 
but I think she'd made it herself. Even look at the door though. Like the wood panelling and the door, it's such a shame. Hey, why does it feel like there's a should be something there? Yeah, like a secret door. Yeah. I think it's just the walls bowing. No, but no, I'm just thinking there's a gap there. It doesn't sort of fit together properly down there. And there's a gap actually in the skirting yeah. as well. Like there should be something behind there, but it's just to be fair. Oh, it the roof? It just yeah, it goes behind here. Which is weird. Oh god, I can see where they've got electric from because I just tripped over it. Yeah. Yeah, they've been uh, overriding the electrics, haven't they? Yeah. And that's probably what you would have got through your hand when you came through that door. Don't bear thinking that, was it? Imagine it. You'd be dead, 100% be dead. So the electrics must have still been running and they've they've just overridden them. That's exactly the noise I heard. Is it? Yeah, exactly the noise I heard. Oh, for fuck's sake. What should we now? Yeah. Literally, I just heard it. Yeah, that's the... I'm going to play it back in a minute because I heard that and I'm sure that'll show up because it were loud enough to show up. I'm sure it were. Not the outside, it's just... Cars. No, and it, it weren't it weren't a car noise, no. were it? I'm a bit freaked out to go back through there now. Shall we just live in here for the rest of his lives? No, thank you. <laughs> Don't think I'm back to. Oh God! I bet it would shit myself every night. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> oh man! Stay sleep with my eyelids open. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. Than I were before. Fat my penis. <laughs> right, we're going up these. Have we done everything down here? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, because we come through there. All oh, right. There. Oh, there's nothing off to the left there, is is there? No. There's boxes of fertilizer. Right. Right, let's go. Ooh. Stop. Look at that. That's really good, that ceiling rosy thing. And then stars all around. Oh, a little jug as well on there. Get your jugs out. <laughs> you're pooing your pants, aren't you? I am. I don't know which way to go because I'm going that way and go this way. Look, shine your torch up at that. Oh, don't shine your torch at that. <laughs> it's making it too bright. I'm going to come further up. Oh, look, you can see. Why is the run? Right. Those on, when are the date on those apples and onions? I don't like this at all. When are they from, Andy? Second of Jan. Oh, so it's, when's the ham? December. So first December. Oh, so it's a few months ago at least, isn't it? So we're all right. Hey, look. Is there another? Another level. There's another level there. Back to that door there, look. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. How good is that? Obviously the stars and stuff have been added on very recently, but Oh, I can't, you're like a motorbike. It shit me up, that did. <sighs> this is all a bit weird as well, though, look. Because this looks original, Andy. This bit looks original. Yeah. But this bit doesn't look original. Do you think? It's metal, I think, it's isn't it? It's metal, yeah. I don't think it looks right. Look at it. So this is where the guy's been living. Looks like it, doesn't it? Because you've got clothing... You've got bottles of something, shampoo, tres tresemme, a toaster, something that stinks. You've got a bottle of piss and all sorts of things. Oh, there. yeah. Bottles of Coke and his coat, there, some heaters. So he's just been purely living in this little space here, hasn't he? Yeah. Probably blocked in by this, well, the curtain that goes across there. And What's then. This? This, it smells dead. There's something smells dead in here. I hope it's not a bloke in here. <laughs> no, but that, 
There's something dead in here, Andy. That's not gone off food, that's dead. Come and stand where I'm standing. I hope he didn't have a dog or a cat. I hope he's not under here. But he's under there. He sure is. Oh, so much. Can he smell it? Rotten fruit there, look. No, but it's not. It's not food. I know what rotten food smells like. This is something dead. Yeah, oh. that's his airbed, look, and his quill. I can smell it so strong. Something inside so strong. Oh, that's making me feel ill. Let's get out of this bit. It's making me feel wrong. You are wrong. No, but I was talking last night to Rachel about how, like, when I'm in the countryside, I can always, I always know when there's a dead sheep or something about. Can you smell it? I can smell it from a mile off. And there is something, whether it be a rat or what, that's dead underneath that lot somewhere. Go on, in your pub. Dang it, oh there's no curtains up. End of the day, what's gonna happen? Oh, look at, the thing is, we need to be in here. Look at these, look at these. Oh, the suitcases, the initial suitcases as well. What's that say on it? Uh, it's not English. I don't know. Can't quite work out. Valise. Zainde. I don't know what language that is. I don't. African. Yeah. It's got this. Them. I really like them. She's so happy and he looks so stern. Has he got glasses on or a monocle? He's got glasses on. He has got glasses on. Oh. Yeah, she looks so jolly and nice and he just looks harsh. You know, in this bag, can you have a look? What are the pieces of stone? I think that's Roman or something. I reckon they put bits of. Oh, that's a piece of bone. That's a big piece of bone. You can see the the scrapings on it, look. That's like a cow's leg, I think, that one. Like a marrow bone. Yeah, but you can see you can see the car the cut marks on it. What else have we got in there? Oh, oh. that's it band around it. Oh, it's got something written on it as well. Oh, it's like oh I feel like I'm ruining that. Can you move that for me? I don't want to get dirt all over it. Look, there's, it says mortar from original building wall, pre-1698. This says plaster from Norman wall, reputed Norman wall. But that's what all this looks like. Mortar, mortar from Roman columns. In the cellar? Yeah. So they've got bits of the original bit. Oh, this is amazing. This is... Mortar from reputed Norman and Anglo-Saxon wall. This is, this is amazing, Andy. I know it's only little bits of rock or whatever, but... This is history. It is history that's just been shoved in a plastic bag from bloody CNA. I need to look at this. Oh, what's it say on it, though? I don't know. I'm trying not to get them out of bags. Do you want me to read it? Or can you do it? I'm not going to be able to read it. It's a bit hard because it's in felt tip, isn't it? But there's something inside. Oh, it'll just be a bit of rock, it'll be a stone, but don't take it out of the bag because it's associated to that, whatever that is. It. it says, it's really hard to read that. It says, something, something wall. I can't, I can't. If you can read that, let us know, but that's, that's really hard to understand. But all these things have got historic value. I know it's just bits of mortar and it's stuff that he's collected over years, probably. But what's that? Driving license. It is, it's a little driving mm. license. Has it got nothing in it there? Oh, it has. Uh, have a look. Let me have a look. Oh, I've just got to... Oh, it's not from here, so we're okay. So, Herbert William Collington, 9 the Stockwell, Wildswood, Loughborough. Is hereby licensed to drive motor vehicles group 1A, 1B, 2, 3, 11, 12 and 13 from 10th of January 1970 until 9th of January 1973. Did you only get a limited really? driving license back then? I thought it was, like when I got my paper license, that were it, you got it. 
until they brought the stupid photo licenses in. But yeah, that's hard. Anyway, I'm just going to keep looking. Oh, yeah, there's this as well. We've got um, a travel check from 1978. I wonder where they were going. Wait, where did it stop travellers checks? They still do travellers checks. Do they? I'm pretty sure they do, yeah. So, I remember getting loads of them to sign them. Stupid. Oh, the right pain in arse. But yeah, so there's loads of, like, look at these. Everywhere there's something else to look at. I could spend hours and hours in here. But look at this that we just found a minute ago. So in a little cupboard, first of all, these postcards. Vienna is certainly the most beautiful city I've seen. Just, oh, it's just so good. I want to show you them, but they've all got the address of the place on. And then there's this, and I'm going to put the torch there and hold it over this. Look at these. St. Sophia's Museum. All the different things. And you just don't know, some of this might be lost now, forever. And there's loads of them, look. There's loads of, look at that. That's fantastic. I could, I could just sit and show you all these all day. Some of them are really hard to see though. That just looks like a big gray mess now. But it's, it's unbelievable, the stuff that's in here. And there's letters upon letters now. From what I've read, he's, oh yeah, that's why the rocks will be there. He's a geologist. Is he? He is. I've just been looking in all the research and stuff for geology. That writing is mad. Oh. Temple Plumpton, Norwich. But yeah, look at that. All that writing. There's loads of it down here, look. Yeah. I liked it. it Multicoloured, didn't he? Well, it's probably each just notes, isn't it? point that he's writing, yeah. He's just done it in different colour, but... I've noticed he's written on the back of things that he's just... He's not bought that paper. Shiny, oh. like it would come off if you, if you rubbed it. Yeah. Oh, postcards go off. Yeah, there's so many. There's so much stuff that just needs saving in here. It really, really does. And I reckon we've only touched the tip of the iceberg here. I expected to get a joke about a tip of the penis then, but got nothing from you. <laughs> I'm just... In awe. In awe about all these postcards yeah. in here. I, I want to know what's in some of these big... Ah, you fucking whore! Ow! Why were they so small around here? That really hurt. Oh, it's made me realise that it's got cool Victorian... Is it hand-painted, this? I think it's hand-painted, you know. Or hand stamped at least, because it's all slightly different. Yeah, it's either hand painted or hand stamped. That would be worth a fortune. That wallpaper. Must have had some money as well. Why? Country house sales, spring nineteen ninety five. Sotheby's. Sotheby's. Yeah, definitely got some money. Well, to be fair, this place will won't have been cheap. Also, there's a German connection, isn't there? I've just been, I found these, look. So more written notes, and I'm pretty sure that's German or Austrian or something, but I'm, I think German. Nichts wind fur sea. Organist, I don't know what that means. Nichts, is that knights? Knight, I might be wrong. Oh, Nick, no, I can't think what Nicht means. N I G H T S. Nichts. No idea. No, I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll keep looking. Right. And he's just been changing his batteries. And as I walked through, don't know why, I just, there's, there's nothing exciting up here. I had an urge to look up. I saw that. Just sat there like this. Andy, hold this. Look at this, right, turn it the other way up so you can see it. Right, that is like a banister, top of a banister, with a weird looking person, like almost like a knight, I can't quite work out what. And then move your hand. It's there. Look at the top of the banister. Look at the square bit with the- It's going up this way, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, different, slightly different angle. Because that's the banister going down, so that's stood on top of here. 
Yeah. That's really strange. Because look, if you look at this post here, and then look at the post at the end, this end, it's the same one when there was something attached to it and went that way. It's all a bit weird, isn't it? Because what the fuck is that? And why was that picture hidden away? Now, look at it in here. Look at all the stuff just everywhere. Why was that? You just sat it, yeah. on the top of there, yeah. And it wasn't it. up like that. It was laid down on its side. So you could just about... Like eat, that? Sort of more... It was backwards for a start. It wasn't facing us. It was that way. Like that. Just popped. Yeah, like that. That's exactly as it was. Just sat off to this side here. That's just something. This is fucking freaking me out. It, to go. It's horrible in here. It's horrible. I'm gonna leave that up there, but that is one of the freakiest photos I've ever seen. Because <laughs> there's got no face. Don't like it in here. Don't like it. <laughs> I've got chicken skin on my face. I, I feel my whole body feels weird. I'm really hot as well. Watch this bottle and watch. Yeah, don't fall. Don't fall down here. What a weird set of stairs. Because it goes right and left. And then that middle bit there is just really odd. Don't you think? Strange, isn't it? And then the stairs behind that wall. Oh, see this, it's an old bottle of Lucasaid, isn't it? Really old bottle of Lucasaid, yeah. Stairs going up. Oh, that's the little hidden stairs then. Well, it's not really hidden, but just seems it. Uh, and that's the... Oh my God. You weren't kidding about this being the grow. I'm guessing they were planning on having more in here then. At one point. Oh Lord, it goes right round. We've got the little fire there where they're using the chimney as the, to get rid of the smell. Yeah. I mean, if you think, I'm not in here, but... There's probably 150 plants maybe. If you think a thousand pound a plant. Yeah. That's what you know well, that's what you would normally usually get. work it out as, don't you? 150 grand. Wow, and that's just this room and there's there's this stuff in other rooms as well, isn't there? So they've had it in different places. Got all electrics as well. Oh. Some more stairs. That's weird as well that you have why do the stairs start halfway What's so weird? What is it? Oh it could be an echo. Fuck me from us. Because we read in that thing, distant voices. I thought, dude, I think it was echo. Thank God for that. Yeah, it said voices that you could hear, but you didn't know what they were saying. Oh, look at this little window. That's really you strange. Look, you crap me, Sam, man. Yeah, I think you're just echoing your voice in here. Probably, yeah. Oh, pull that out. Oh, it's just a little basic fire. Yeah, it is weirdly echoey in here though, isn't it? That's really odd. Yeah, there's not really very much in here. It, it's really freaking me out, this place. Really freaking me out. Right, we've not been in this one. You've got a tiny oh. door handle. I didn't think you could get in then. What is it? What is it? The bathroom, it stinks. Ah. Oh. Really does stink. Oh, look at the sink. Let's keep oh, that. Somebody's had a shit in there. Have they? Yeah, I'm just. Oh wait. I could see my breath then. It's warm tonight. Wait a minute. I can't. I can't see it now. Just for a split second. I saw my thing. Got it honks. I really does. Um. Yeah. So we've got. That's quite an old toilet, isn't it? Really. You know what I mean? It's, it's it's not Victorian, I reckon it's turn of the century. Do you, what do you think? <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, I thought we were stuck in there. What the fuck was that? I'm fucking I am shaking. You're going first now, I'm not going anywhere. I d I think it came from in here. We've just been in there. There's nothing in there. Didn't it sounded like it bounced off the wall next to us? There's, there's literally nothing in here. There's 
There's nothing. There's a bit of plaster there, but there's no way that would make that noise. Right, stop this. That were a double bang. Whatever it was, bounced off something first. Oh God, there were a little fucking orb thing next to your head then. Orb oh, Right next to your head. Andy, I've gone fucking weird, me. I don't like this at all. We need we need to get upstairs and get out of this place because I'm feeling very, very, very strange. I don't get that. Oh yeah, why would you have that in your bathroom? Oh look, it's behind a window as well. And what, mirror. what are the bits? I mean, a mirror, not oh. a window. Yeah, that, what are them? Are they to dry your... Oh, yeah. Dry stuff on, or maybe put your towels on or something. Towels on, yeah. Right. I don't like it. That noise. I don't know where that... How that possibly could be anywhere other than that room, because it was so loud. Right, go on then. You go first. I hear that. Again, I'm off. I'm, I'm going straight out of here. I'm not, I'm not hanging about. I don't care. <laughs> Just go. It's you telling me all these stories about. Well, I've only I've read what it. you've read about it, yeah. Yeah, I've read it. Well, I read half of it to you, didn't I? I read half of it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I know. Let that door move in. I don't know. Push the door. Andy, I'm, I'm proper freaking out. I thought you were like. Yeah. I thought this door. Pull like, the door. Right, pull it. No, don't go, on, don't go on the floor. What about the other door? Oh, fucking Andy, please. Don't do this. No, don't touch the door. So what the fuck was that noise? That was right behind me. I'm going. I don't know if you go up there. Go up the, go up the other stairs. I think it's easier, isn't it? I don't like this at all. I am proper, I, I don't even feel like goose pimply, I just feel hot, like really boiling hot, really weird. I've got butt guys, literally got butt. Oh, it's you. Every noise now, we're just gonna panic. What? Oh, what? Right. It's that hole, are you looking at that hole and yeah, thinking? Thought, why is it just... What's with this little stick? beams in here. Look at that. That picture. That's all the ceiling, man. I feel really freaky. Oh, and it's just all very weird in here. Hey, them other stairs must go up to a different bit. Yeah. What's that? Is it a monk? Where? That in front of you on there, on that. Oh. Get it, it's a monk. Shaolin monk. It's going to be possessed, isn't it? It's fucking weird, Andy. Look at that. That, that is freaky. That, you know what? It's not a, it's not a monk. It's that little old lady downstairs. Oh, she's going to, she's going to come on with me, isn't she? She is. <laughs> well, you'll be happy, won't you? <laughs> but she's not touching me at night, yeah? Look at it, though. Oh, look. Highly important old English silver. Christie's, 1766. Oh, it's the 1970s catalog. Oh, she's very strange. I don't know whether I like her or, or hate her. I don't like her. And this is Practical Guide Surveyors of Highways, New Highway Act. Uh, can't see the date on that. Oh, 1836. Practical Guide Surveyors of Highways. New, New Highway Act, 18, oh, fucking hell, it's hard to see, 1836. That's all there. Imagine well, the Highway Act in 1836, what would it have been on the roads then? Horses. No cars. Oh, it's me, fuck, fuck's sake for that. What, do you see yourself in there? I, I just saw my light in that, in that mirror then, like a, a really dim one, I thought. Well, yeah, so it's definitely you if it's a really dim one. Yeah, I'm about as bright as a two-watt bulb. Oh, let's have a look, we can probably see it a little bit better now. So it's inside of a book, this, isn't it? That better? Yeah. It says, 
uh, their powers, duties and liabilities, New Highway Act, uh, a copious index, FW Nash Esquire, London, uh, about the publishers, 1836, yeah? I wonder where the rest of the book is. Could be down here somewhere, probably, oh, won't yeah. it? Oh, ah, I just scraped that across my forehead. Oh, that's old as well. I reckon that's maybe fifties. There's a building next door to this, isn't there, which we're coming between. Yeah. That looks like that. Oh yeah, it does. Doesn't it? It does, it yeah. That's like we're well gonna say wash out. Oh don't know. Look at outside. look at the windows though. That could be here around the back. If you look at those windows. Could be. Opposite we, way though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but it might be just I'm saying round the back and you can't tell because it will have been not brambles and nettles like it is now. There's all sorts of books and things in here that look quite old. If I have a look in the other bit, then I think we're about done. Hey, you know what? There's not many times I'm happy to be leaving an abandoned building, but this occasion, I want to get out of here. I'm not comfortable in here at all. I feel really, really on edge all the time. Like even when we like laughing, there's hardly been any joking between us at all tonight. Because I think we've both felt it, haven't we? It's spooky, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what is that? What is this? Oh my God, there's photos everywhere. That's empty, but that's a neat bag. That bag, it looks oh. like it's from somewhere like Morocco or something, that. It looks like that sort, that sort of thing, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, there's stuff everywhere. Look at these photos. I think that's that same woman from downstairs. Is it? I think so. You know the one that I said looked really happy and smiley? Yeah. And that possibly is her or maybe her mother there as well. Oh, look at the little Scotty, I mean, the little uh, Westies. Why oh, did they say something about that? I don't think that were you. That came from behind you. Something moving. Probably a rat. No, that worked. Wait, it could have been, but oh, Andy, I don't like this. That old telly there, look. Oh yeah, on its side over HMV. there. HMV. I'm gonna look at something. Then. I forgot what now. Oh, to mention something about being dog breeders or show dogs or something, didn't they? Not sure. I've. I've lost, you know what, my mind, my concentration's gone. What's that in that box there? Is it a, a check? Yeah, 10 pounds in 1960. Not a lot. Yeah. Where are these other things here, look? I hate to see photos. Look at that, how cute is that little girl? And then school photos, probably in the garden around the back. Looks like fresh back from the wall. It's this one. Look at them. How cool are they? Oh, they've been playing golf. What's this one here? Oh, look, another little baby photo, which I don't know if it's the same as that. And that. Shame. Oh, look at this. Is this a is this a birthday thing or a? Yeah, it is. First birthday. Oh, is it? Heaps of love. Bundle of mes mischief. Who's twelve months old today? Oh, let's have a look on the back. Wishing you a happy birthday from your cousin David from um, Port Talbot, 1934, Christmas Day. Oh, Christmas Eve, sorry. Is that Wales, Port Talbot? Yeah, Glamorgan, and then one penny stamp. That's not the. That's not this location on there. Oh, look at this little hand. Look at this pot doll hand as well, Andy. That's weird, look, hold that. It is a proper pot doll as well, it's not. You're going to give me some what's going to be possessed. Look at that. So many good little things in here. So many good little things. And it only takes you 
to like glance instead of look properly and you're gonna miss so much stuff. But, oh, what's that, Andy? This. Real to real. Is it? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, little reel to reel. Oh, look, another little photograph in front. Pick that one up. Oh. Oh. Bayliss, 15. Do you reckon that was 1915? Could be. Not not age 15, is it? Doesn't no, it? definitely not age 15. Put it with the other photos. Oh yeah, another little tally there. And what's in the suitcase? Nothing. Nothing, he had a look. Yeah. Books upon books upon books again. Yeah. Ah! Fucking hell! How, how do you not notice like 15 foot wide beam? Because I'm looking down here. I'm not looking in air. What's that? Is it like a filter? Oh no, it's a sea urchin. Yeah, it is. Turn it over. Yeah, it is. It's like a big sea urchin oh, type thing. Petrified sea urchin. Yeah. Go ahead. Round into the other side. Well, you should wear a bobble hat. What are you on about, you now? Nah. Bobble hats. What about bobble hats? You know what? Why? How bad bobble hats come to be a frisian? What? No, but why are you saying that you should wear a bobble hat? Because in the early days. No, no, nothing to do with the early days. You keep banging your head on things. Like oh this. right, that right. Maybe next time start with you know because you keep your bang, banging your you head on things. Just keep banging your head on things like this. Yeah. Wear a bobble hat. Right. Okay. Because bobble hats been introduced for sailors. Right. When they're walking in ships underneath. So when the bobbles touch things like that, they know to duck. Oh, really? I, I never knew that. Yeah, there you go. There's a lot of things that come from ships, like, um, is it three square meals a day? Yeah. Because the plates used to be square on ships, so they didn't roll round your table. Keep them into corners. Yeah, keep them in corners. So See, many, there's learn loads. something new every day on this channel. You do. There's loads of You're things like that. Channel. There's loads. I love stuff like that, though. What's this? Look at this little bit here. Right. Like, did they like storage for something? Yeah, but chiselled it away. I don't it, know. Roofing, so. Oh, look at this! Oh, there's loads of bits and bats in here. Look at them in a minute. Look at that. It's Ottoman. Ottoman. That's the word I was looking for, and I couldn't think what it was. Have a look inside for me. You just want me to lift some up so something jumps out, don't you? No, I don't think anything's going to jump out. Oh, it's. Quite empty. It's quite new. Mm. I've got handles inside. <laughs> it's been repurposed. That's made being made out of um, some drawers. Oh, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they've remade it. Out of put the handles else. outside so be able to pick it up. I still think that's like nineteen seventies though. I don't think it's as new as you think. What's that there, Andy? On that piece of card there, there's something stuck to it. What we're looking at. This thing that where there's something stuck to it. The thing where the stuff stuck to it. The piece of card with something stuck to it. Where? The thing there on the floor next to it. Yes. Oh. What is it? Are they bullets? What are they? Oh no, they're drawing, drawing pens for lithography and mapping. I bet they're worth something, you know? They're really good. I wonder how old they are. It doesn't, it doesn't. It's get, a date, does it? No. If anyone wants to look up those, registered trademark. Is it George W. Hughes? That's what it looks like to me. Oh, that's brilliant. And then look, little jugs and jars, and that's like Greek. My granddad had stuff like that. There's a lot of 18 and 1900 stuff in here. Lots and lots, but then occasionally, there's just something that just pops out that looks a lot older. Yeah. Oh, it looks like some of this stuff might have been up for auction at some point. It's got a number on it, that one. It looks a little bit like Rockingham. Rockingham pottery, which is quite a lot of money. But yeah, it's all smashed. It's such a shame. Like this, oh, this I've seen before, something similar to this. Wait a minute, I can't really show you very well. Now that is old. That is really quite old. It's damaged, really damaged, but... Oh! Violet Swan Ink. Yeah, this is... I can't remember how old that is, but it, it's definitely got some age and I can't think what sort of pottery it is at all. Look underneath. Oh, wait a minute. It has got a stamp on it. 
just the numbers. Let's have a look. Cool. Hmm. Can't work that out. But that's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's loads of pottery that's probably worth a lot of money. Look at that little spoon. Too like a strainer, isn't it? It's broke, bless it. I know, they're all broken. Someone's been up here smashing stuff, trying to find stuff worth a bit, I think. Knackered. I know. I'm, I'm just tired from fear, me. I don't know why this place has really done it. You know me. We know us. We're not really ever scared, are we? I feel scared. No, but when you read a backstory and there's some, like, loads of ghost sightings, loads of things happening, loads of things. Then there's a big fucking bang for no apparent reason. Then there's... Like weird, like a weird ghost picture at the top of the stairs. That's freaky, isn't it? That is just really strange. Fucking hell. What happened then? Cobweb. You're riding me high. Oh, God. I didn't even see one either. Please, can we get out of here? Yeah. Let's go then. Watch your head. Okay. I'll get my bobble that on. <laughs> Right, we're just heading back down the cellar. We decided we'd not been down these stairs and even though we know where they come out, we thought we'd have a look down. And I've just noticed two things sat up here. Right. Not the spider, but that is a domino, but it's bone. It's a bone domino. And that is an old pipe that they used to smoke. There we go, can you see? The end lock, it's got a little hole that runs all the way through. And it's a sm little smoking pipe. And the domino, I'll put that back up there. It's really weird. It's made out of bone on the front. And then a piece of wood or something on the back. I've never seen a, a domino like that before. I know they used to make them out of bone and, and stuff like that back in the day, years and years ago, like the Romans. But I don't know when that's from. That's very, very old. I feel like someone's behind me. I feel like someone's right behind me. That's horrible. Andy's down there. I'm going down to Andy. What do you make of these then? Not sure what that is. I know what that is. It's a clay pipe. Is it? To smoke. So imagine the bowl on the end of it. Oh, yeah. And they were about your hand's length, the whole thing. Oops. From where it went into your mouth. I know that's a domino. Yeah, I know, but it's, oh, it's bone, that look. Can you not see? See the little mark, marks is in it? It's bone? It's bone. It's definitely bone. Not made out of stone and just placed on top no. of something else. Yeah, that's on some top of something else. That's definitely bone. 100% that's bone. But, yeah. Two little, they were just sat at the top of the door a minute ago. Well, well you know where we come down the stairs? Into I know you stopped. Yeah, that's where they were. So I'm going to hide those out of the way somewhere. I don't want anyone just, just pinching them. Don't do it now because people will see where you're going to put it, you absolute nutter. So, yeah, we had a look up there earlier, didn't we? Right, we need to get out of here, Andy. Right, I've got to be really careful here to show you. But look at these steps up and the little window. And then this up here. Now that is RSM, which I don't know what that stands for, but the dates underneath is, or the letters underneath is M for a thousand, D for 500, and C for 100. So that makes it 1600. Then you've got the X and C. So if you've got an X before a C, that makes it the 100 into 90. And then you've got V, which is five, one, 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 which makes it eight. So you've got 1698. So like we were saying, it's from the 1600s. Like I said, I've got to be careful because there's signs and stuff on here. But I just think it's really cool. And like I said, this bit down here is where we were. The floor where I'm stood now is higher than the level of the floor, which was the level of the road previously. So it's really, really, really risen up in the time from sort of Roman times. Anyway, we've got to be careful because we're out on a main road. I can't show you Andy or around where we are because it'll give away where we are at the moment. But anyway, absolutely amazing place. That was so, I've never wanted to leave a building as much in my life as that building. Put me on edge. 
from the, from the, the second we walked through that door. Like I said, I don't, like you said, I don't think it helped that we went through the backstory of all the ghosts and the people that lived there. I don't think that helped at all, but it, we've done that before. We've talked about certain ghosts and certain things that have been heard and seen and stuff. There's so many things in there, though. That's the problem. I think it's not just yeah. one thing. It's numerous. But also, I just felt funny. I just felt funny. Like, we don't... We've never been anywhere and gone looking for ghosts, ever. We've never took, like... Oh, apart from when we've gone and, like, been with other paranormal groups and stuff. What, once. Twice. Twice. Same group as well. Yeah. It wasn't different people. So we've three times down in catacombs. We sat in on one, didn't we? As well. Oh yeah. Yeah. You feel a Commodore song coming on. <laughs> what a lady. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Knew exactly what you meant. Brilliant. But who oh, said you were rubbish at this? Me. But we don't go looking for ghosts. We never have. You don't believe in them. No. Like. I'm not going to read something and go, oh, yeah, I'm going to walk in there. It's gonna like, my first thought was when I heard there's, you see a man sat by a roaring fire, I'm thinking, what? So you're going to have a fucking vision of a man sat next to a big fire. That is the most, like, ghosts to me are like something you might see out the corner of your eye or yeah. something. Not, not somebody at a fire, but it just was horrible. The feeling in there was horrible. Scary. It was, and that bang, that big bang, you can yawn, you know, you're allowed. I'm not, <laughs> not going to tell you off. And <laughs> you know what? Now. It's the earliest we've been out, but you've been so poorly, haven't you? I'm still, still a bit weak, but... I know. Anyway, when this has gone up, the meet-up will have happened. Yeah, we're finished. It's on, You'd have met us. On Saturday. So if you did come, thank you so, so much. We will have enjoyed it, I'm sure. I am scared to death, but it is going to be really, really good. Um, I'm going to tell them to watch the live stream, but that's already happened. Um, but yeah, you can watch it back. You're able to watch it back. So there will be footage online of, of stuff that went off and things. You're not going to get to see all the good stuff that went off because that'll probably be after the cameras have been turned off, to yes, be fair. Yes, definitely. So, back in the hotel room. Yeah. Well, yeah, you'll be by yourself. And? I've got a hand. Oh. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for all the we've sold so much merch recently it's just going out of, out of stock before we could even wow. like Ridiculous. restock it so thank you for everybody that's been buying that if you do want some get some now because it's mental well we might have sold that because we're selling us at oh meet and greet so we might have yeah. gotten on exactly we um, got any well, nothing left nothing so i'm going now i love you very much in the early night yeah not together, no. separately. I'm getting millions of messages coming through now from my missus going, you? miss you, love you. So, love you too. Right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.